Good evening. Teacher. Hey. hey. How are Long you? Long time no see you. Hey. What a surprise. Yeah. Teacher. What a great wow. surprise. Wow. Como se I'm very happy. What a coincidence. Ah. I'm even blush. Ah, I mean... <laughs> sí, en serio. I didn't know. I'm serious. Déjeme ver. Usted nos pidió. I don't tío, believe it. I don't cosa. believe it, Pax. <laughs> For real, I didn't know anything. But no it, lo sé, Rick. Parece falso. No, <laughs> it's true. I didn't know. But I'm happy to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody was like with the cameras off. Let's see who the teacher is. Ah. <laughs> okay. But we have new partners. That's great. We have new, new classmates. Good evening. I saw new participants on the group at least. So you rested all this, all this time. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know. I think I had it. Let's see. What level? Hi. <laughs> Somebody's coming, Adriana. Hector. You see? You see new names? Yes. Teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Nice How's to see you everything? again. Yes, nice to see you again, too. <laughs> All this time you were relaxing. You didn't have classes, you were chilling. And now, welcome to Intermediate, by the way. That's good. Intermediate, back in Intermediate. Did you receive the, the platform credentials? The Hi, Mr. Carlos, with a new look. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. And you? Nice. Glad to see you, too. Ah, we, we have Isabel also. <laughs> I see. All right, Mayra. Where have you been? All right. Yes. So you rested? Did you rest? You have new batteries? <laughs> For staying up until 10 p.m.? Yes. A few That's days good. ago. Yes. Yes. Nice to sleep early. Yeah, you went to bed early. That's true. That's nice. But well, it's nice to start the game. Yes. Inter intermediate. Uh, inter intermediate. Intermediate. English. With T. Intermediate. With T. I haven't did. <laughs> no, with the T sound at the end. I know. Kidding. I know. I know. Okay, thank All you, right. Tisha. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I see. Well, nice to see you. And nice to see that you continue. Because sometimes people don't want to continue, but I see you have the willingness to continue. Yes, we do have new participants. I see uh, Nuri, welcome. Hello. No audio, Nuri. I think no audio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe has she has some difficulties. Yeah, when you are on the on a device such as a cell phone or a tablet, sometimes it's hard to activate the audio, right? Yeah, we also have a milk car, we also have Cesar. I think those are new participants, but welcome them. Okay. We also have Lucy. But Lucy was it was from the from the last group too. Hi. Somebody say hi everybody. Nice to see you again. Nice. You see? Isabel doesn't forget the last 
the last <laughs> customs, the good habit of saying something nice on the chat. That's great. So we're gonna give Isabella a good reaction of thumb up. Yes, true. That's great, that's awesome. So tell me something about all this time that you were relaxing. What did you do? Mm -hmm. Sleep a lot. You're sleeping a lot, <laughs> uh -huh. watching movies, visiting friends, having long talks with your families, cooking dinner. What else? I saw a movie. You saw movies, nice. Uh -huh. Eating it slowly. <laughs> Eating it slowly without pressure. <laughs> Enjoying your dinner. All right, what else? Reading a book, doing homework with your children. What else? Mm -hmm. No more, not much. All Did right. Say, how do you say? Going out. Out. Yeah. Going out. Yeah. Going out. Exactly. Out in the hot, the um, the weekend. Okay, going out on the weekend. All right. Nice. Going With to the beach. rain. <laughs> it's been a lot of rain, exactly. Last week with Julia. This Julia was terrible. Yeah, it was a big rain. All right, first things first. It's already uh, about 10 minutes, right after we were supposed to start the class. And now it's intermediate, so I can feel free to have a conversation with all of you in English. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to have the attendance. All right, today is Monday. Mm -hmm. 17. 17. The 17th of? What month? October 17th. October 17th. October it's almost 17th. Christmas. 2022. Of 2022, exactly. It's almost Halloween, actually. Then it's going to be Thanksgiving in November, and then it's going to be Christmas in December. That's nice. Well, I feel Who's... so confident with you. Sure. <laughs> yes. You're celebrating. Que Halloween. Se es el día, Halloween. día de los muertos. Eso lo olvidó. Oh. Oh, it's true november 2nd is the date of the death yes no we don't celebrate i mean we just know about this different traditions and cultures in different countries but we don't really celebrate it's not a celebration i think um halloween yes it's a holiday for the for the americans but for salvadorians and for mexicans the date of the death november 2nd is a commemoration People usually go to the cemetery, take flowers, visit their dead relatives, decorate their graveyards, clean their graveyards, put flowers, eat hojuelas, and a lot of these traditions, you know? But I don't really, I mean, I used to go with my mom, but not anymore. I think it's better if you go on another day. It's more relaxed, no more, not many people. But on that day, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy, but it's part of the traditions. Okay, Adriana. Present. Good news, bad news, Adriana. Tisha. Yes. Este, hay unos compañeros que dicen que están espera que lo que se enlacen. Wait a minute. Give me a second. Mm. Okay, so you're in class already. Ya están en clase. Si se unieron eh, utilizando el enlace que les enviaron las credenciales, tienen que estar en este enlace. Yes, I see Walter. No, Walter is not here yet. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks, Jesse. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, well, si enviaron el grupo de WhatsApp. 
Sí, 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 si están comunicando en este grupo de WhatsApp, sí tienen que tener el, el mismo link. Mm. Uh -huh. Ah, pero hay que encender. Wait a second. Sí. Where the link is. Okay. Wait a minute. Well, I can resend it actually. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to have the attendance. Just give me one second. Let me, let me go to the attendance. And the first thing I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, this is the um, video conference, I guess. I'm going to present it again so they can join. Okay, there you go. All right, Adriana has said present already, right? Present, teacher. <laughs> yes, Amelka. Nahir. Carlos Ernesto. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Cesar. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome. Thank you Christina, very much. Christina, all right. Christina Edith. Nahir. Elsie. Elsie, Elsie. Hi. Best of the <laughs> welcome, welcome Hi. back. I hear you so far away. <laughs> okay. Turn the volume up. All right. Fatima, Denise. Present teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, Mr. Ferman. Present teacher. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Again, nice to meet you again. All right. Hazel, Sarai. Hazel, at one, at two. No, Hazel. Oh, no. All right. Hector, Francisco. Present teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Thank you for us. Nice to hear that. Isabel. Teacher. Long time. Long time. <laughs> Long time of practicing. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Catherine. Not here. Lucy. Present teacher. How are you? How's it going? I'm fine, thank you. You got the flu. See you. <laughs> you got the flu again. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Careful. Thank you, gang. Thank you. Drink a lot of lemonade in orange juice. Nice to see you. Mayra. Present the chair. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Fine. Happy to see you again. All right. Glad to be here. All right. Nuri Alde Martinez. Present the chair. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you as well. Nice to see you too. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Like a singer. No. Samuel Antonio. Present teacher. Hey, how's Hi. it going? <laughs> happy. Very, very happy. All right. Vitelia Salamanca. Nayet, Walter Federico Celaya, Mr. Walter, no se ha podido conectar, Wendy, 
Wendy, Wendy. Not here. And Irma. Present teacher. How are you? Uh, very happy with nice. you, like Yay! <laughs> yes. Nice to see you again, too. Well, I think because of formalities, we have to, yeah, we have to check a video from Insta4. Let me just get it. We're going to get the video right here somewhere. I have it. Yay. Okay, here we go. This is uh, a video that we have to show every time that we start a course. So I'm going to show it. Let me just give a second to share the screen and to share the sound. Maybe if, this, if the volume is very high, you can just get the volume a little bit down. All right. Wait, wait a second. We're going to share the audio. And here we go. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Ok, great. Well. Welcome. Yeah, I see more participants now. Yeah, I see uh, Walter. Yes. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hi, good night, everybody. Hello. It's a welcome. pleasure to be here. Thank you. Likewise. I'm glad to have you here. Okay. Well, just as a refresh and maybe because we have some uh, new participants because this was a previous group I met before we're going to have some small conversations about introducing ourselves right you remember how to introduce yourself but we can add some extra information about yourself we can talk a little bit about the work you do okay so basically you know personal information what you can say and then basically about your work and what you usually do every day right so this is my academic information in case yeah you are new on this group you know i got this bachelor degree in 
teaching English. I got exchange programs in the States, a lot of experience. It's like 12 years of experience in the last program. But I've been working for INSA for programs all this year, okay? And of course, these are the general information. Okay, I think I have to re-edit this information. Let me just stop sharing this. I just want to edit the information of the date of the evaluation. Definitely, it's going to be by the next two weeks. We're going to have the midterm. So let me just uh, change this, just this date. Okay, have you checked the platform? If you already checked the platform, then you are aware of the dates. Let me just, we have this first week. So the first week goes from today. So by the 29th or the 28th, the 28th of October, you should have the midterm. October. And then by the last other two weeks would be, let's see, October, November by 11th of November. You should have the last evaluation. Let me just change the dates because I hadn't completed according to this. Yes. Let me see. Well, this is something we can update later. Okay, so as I was mentioning, si ya chequearon su platform de actividades, ya vieron la fecha donde están el midterm, exam. El midterm definitivamente, por eso se llama midterm, es justamente una evaluación de medio curso, right? So right after the first two weeks, right? And the last, the last evaluation, that is when you have already finish the classes right so it's at the end so i think we were on this one yes practically so these are some of the requirements of the course this is something we've got to repeat like every time for you to know that it is really necessary to obtain like the 80 percent of average in assignments and evaluation Recuérdense que todas sus evaluaciones y tareas están en la plataforma, en las credenciales, los links que ya les dieron, ya les compartieron, para que ustedes las puedan ir resolviendo satisfactoriamente, right after every class, so that you don't forget. No dejen como todo se les acumula hasta el final, because it's going to be really, really hard for you to complete all of them at once, right? So all the assignments and topics that you are studying, you should complete them, right? El viernes a la medianoche, like Cinderella. <laughs> but at least if you are working on each activity, like every night, at the last minute on Friday, you won't have to do much, right? So, si han ido completando cada lección, cada noche, ya no se les va a acumular todo para el viernes, right? And then, um, el manual, les hablan del manual, que el manual puede ser descargado. You can download the manual from the platform, okay? Obviously, si ustedes uh, todavía no lo han hecho, igual ahí lo tienen, lo pueden descargar, lo van imprimiendo, si quieren lo imprimen de un solo y pues les sirve para tomar notes, ¿verdad? Para ir tomando notas. Vamos a, a conocer también los requerimientos, creo que esto para los que, bueno, ya hemos estado un buen ratito, ya se nos hace bastante familiar. So, on the platform. En la plataforma de la clase, se tiene que registrar, conectarse con su nombre completo, right? So the camera must be on during all the session. Y si es posible, pues minimizar el sonido ambiente para una mejor recepción de la señal y la participación activa. That is really, really necessary because... Cuando ustedes se conecta y solo está listening, 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 puede ser un momento que de no participar ustedes puede ser que se sienta discouraged, ¿verdad? Pero la idea es que usted se sienta motivated to participate, to speak, to interact, to ask questions, okay, to solve answers. Okay, so the attendance again, a reminder, it must be 100%. So you must be the 120 minutes in class so that you can have the attendance, effective attendance. So the attendance must be taken three times during the session at 8, 10, at 9, and at 9, 50. 
and you also have to say present and with the camera on so there's a session one-on-one -on -one, so that it must be done like every class after the class one person must be nominated <laughs> nominated to stay for the 10 minute session one-on-one -on -one. and yes you must have the silence or the mute button the camera, the chat, the breakout rooms, no es opcional que si quiero ir o no quiero ir al breakout room, ¿verdad? No es como que, ay, van a ir a hacer grupo y van a participar y ahorita me relajo, me voy para el patio, voy a ir a correr un rato y ahí regreso cuando ya he terminado la actividad. Porque las actividades, ese es el objetivo, de que participen más de cerca en, en small groups, right? Okay, and of course, respect above all. Respect, okay, be nice, be kind, be gentle, and of course, people might, you know, say things that probably we don't agree with, but no es razón para, para decirle, no, no está bien, no es que yo. It's like, we must respect everybody, right? Estas fechas las voy a actualizar because they are not according to what we're supposed to study. And the class objective for tonight. Tenemos varios class objectives. Ya revisaron, ya se dieron a la tarea, ya hicieron su pre-read, que es algo muy bueno, es un hábito muy bueno cuando uno tiene un curso y ya le proveyeron el material de hacer como un pre, como una pre-chequeada, ¿verdad? Y uno dice, ah, de esto vamos a tratar, so you already have an idea. So the class objective says, well, we have like three or four objectives, so at the end of this, session participants will be able to express what service and characteristics make restaurants more appealing to customers organize a basic restaurant menu that features appetizers or snacks main course desserts and drinks options and describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu provide suggestions about the promotional activities and product service right. excellent estos objetivos después que ay no los entendí completamente pero tienen una idea y la clase definitivamente va a tratar de opciones, menús, cosas que se hablan en un restaurante, ¿verdad? Entonces, como yo sé que todos son bien responsible, ya tienen su manual y ya chequearon ahí el vocabulary y todo lo... ¡Ah! In the ideal world. No, pero ya tienen, yo sé que lo tienen. Deep inside, están diciendo, sí, of course, yo ya estuve ahí. Checking, checking, no. Vamos a un breakout room. ¿Para qué dijimos que nos íbamos a reunir en small groups? Por okay. to do task. Exactly, to do an activity, to do a task. And the first task is to introduce yourself. Uy, oh, yo solo con los que ya conocía quedé. Pues mejor, más confidence. Vuelvas a presentar, introduce yourself again. Pero sí, le toca pues a alguien new que no ha estado con nosotros before. Igual, pues, ask questions. Where do you live? Where do you work? What time do you start working? What's your schedule like? What do you like about your job? Ask questions. Si alguien no toma la iniciativa para hablar porque le es difícil, pues los demás pueden colaborar empujándolo, haciéndole questions. Yes? And explaining, of course. Ahorita es puro introduce yourself. Veamos, más que todo, si no quieren dar información así como muy personal, as I said before, pueden dar información de acerca de su trabajo, de lo, a lo que se dedican. Ok, vamos a ver, por participants in each group. Hi, Mayra. Hi, Mayra. Hi, Mayra. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to say Luz. Okay, teacher. 
dijo que teníamos que hacernos como una presentación, ¿verdad? Ok. Yeah. Eh, porque... Yes. Introduce yourself. Exactly. Ok. Mm -hmm. uh, Warren, it's good to see you again, Isabel. It's, it's nice to meet you, Walter. I am Héctor Francisco Morales. You, uh, uh, I work at Aeroma. Okay. Uh, aeroport? No. Aeroport. Cascadas. Cascadas Mall. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, and you I am Vitelia Salamanca de Martinez. I live uh, in San Miguel. Wow. <laughs> work uh, the branch manager. Okay. Uh, musical. Branch Manager Musical. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> ok. My name is Adriana Turcios. I'm 32 years old. I'm System Engineer. I work in Industrias Merlet. Um, I'm IT Manager. I... I... I live in San Salvador, <coughs> in Mexicanos. What are the hobbits? My hobbies, watch TV, sleep, <laughs> do nothing, <laughs> only. Okay. okay, okay, my name is Fermán. <coughs> Uh, I am I'm, I am from Sonsonate, uh, but uh, I'm still in other group of there. No, este, pues ya es primera vez, pero creo que, bueno, no sé si me voy a quedar en este grupo porque realmente no, no sé cómo, cómo este, mantener una conversación así, verdad, este, bien fluida. Pero bueno, vamos a ver qué me no. dice. La verdad es que por eso también son estos grupos pequeños, como la teacher explicaba, para que puedan como ir practicando un poco y, ah. y pues que se nos vaya como quitando el, el miedo de repente. Tal vez sabemos algo, pero nos da como temor expresarlo por equivocarnos, cosas así. Entonces, eh, Por eso ayuda a estos grupos pequeños porque podemos como ayudarnos, apoyarnos unos a otros ah, y, claro. y practicar un poquito. <ríe> no las puedo ver, no me pueden Más ver. Que todo eso. Porque no me funciona. Eh, no. Ah, ok. No sé qué le pasó, pero no me funciona. Okay. Very hot place. <laughs> yes, the weather is um is too hot. Because yesterday it was rainy. I ah really? Yes. Uh, and did you have a fan? A very 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 <laughs> a strong fan. <laughs> yeah, our air conditioner. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yes, if you don't have a fan, or if you don't have a...
Uh, not too much. I may, I prefer maybe play with my my daughter and and that's all. That's all. I think not. I don't have not too much hobbies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It's good. Good. Okay. Uh, and 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 hobby de, de de Adriana no lo no lo escuché se me cortó. ¿Cuál era Adriana? She say, she say do nothing. Do nothing. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sleep, watch TV, and do nothing. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero, pero, bueno, antes yo tenía de, de, de hobby. Bueno, ni era ni hobby porque la verdad es que a mí ni, ni mucho me gustó. Solo fui dos o tres veces he ido a pescar, fíjate. Um, pero como era en la noche Hello, hello. Hi, Wendy. Wendy is back. Uh-huh. How did it go? How was it? Did you meet somebody new? Someone new in your group? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see you were having a big conversation with Walter, with Cesar. True. Fatima? Who who was Fatima with? In which group? I know to Elsie. Mm -hmm. Elsie me and Vitelia. And Vitalia, true. Nice. Okay, great. Let's see. Isabel, did you have a new partner in your group? Yes, I in group number one mm -hmm. with Samuel and Hector and Walter. And Walter. So Walter was our new participant. That's right. And I think Lucy, Mayra, and Irma met Nuri, right? Yes. All right. What do you remember about her? Nuri is an architect. Really? And she worked in a um, construction company. Just like in you. A health and safety area yes <laughs> all right what a coincidence <laughs> okay i bet zoom knows something that's why you work together <laughs> all right okay Some days, maybe. Mm -hmm. and yes we have wendy coming back hi wendy hi teacher welcome back how are you? Excuse me? How are you? Uh, <laughs> There's a construction going around in her house. Callas, I'm in class. <laughs> it's okay, Wendy, don't worry. Relax, chill out. <laughs> Class. Excuse me, teacher. How are you? Excuse me, teacher. It's okay. okay they are Perdón. building. They are building in your house. No problem. It's all right. Okay, so let's continue with the class. Yay! Let's see. Okay, as I was telling you, the objectives of the class require that we study 
some characteristics. Okay, this is the manual. This is what the manual looks like. Of course, I know you already got it. You already printed it. You already read it. You already underlined. And we're going to start with the restaurant industry. Yay! Va, en el chat, escríbanme una oración usando la palabra restaurant. Vamos a ver con qué sale. Cualquier cosa usando la palabra restaurant. My favorite restaurant. I love it. Escriban algo en el chat. Aquí en el chat de Zoom, no en el chat de, de, de WhatsApp. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué comments escriben usando la palabra restaurant? Uh -huh. No veo ningún comment yet. Están buscando su creativity. Ah, I see three comments already. I want to go to a Chinese restaurant. Oh, I met a good restaurant. I love restaurants of Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I want to go. <laughs> I like to go to Italian restaurants. Ah, nice. I went to the restaurant yesterday. I went to a restaurant last week. Uh -huh. Where is the restaurant Intercontinental? Oh, the, yeah, really, I think it's in the hotel. What kind of restaurants would you like to visit? Great. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Keep going, keep going. I think there are fewer... Okay, yes. There are a few sentences and questions, but we are more participants, so you need to participate on the chat, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I went to a restaurant last week. Nice. Uh huh. What else? What else? What else? What else? My favorite restaurant is Chinese food. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like restaurants with Mexican food. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like Mexican food restaurants. That's great. In the new restaurant, they have pupusas. It's good. It's a good idea, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, of course, right? Okay, that's nice. Nice comments. So if you see, it says, uh, yes, participants will be able to express what services and characteristics make restaurants more appealing to customers. Mm -hmm. I like Italian restaurants. I love it. Restaurants like do Brazil. Oh, I've never been there. They say it's Brazilian food, right? Nice. No. No? Only meat. Only it's, meat. It's a buffet. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. It's a... Um, it's in the restaurant Intercontinental. Really? So it's inside the, the hotel? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it. <laughs> oh my God, it's near because it's just uh, met, put, it's across from Metro Centro, in the, right? In the table, uh, they put uh, an aro or a cartoncillo, I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, the, the color green. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the color green means more more meal. more food more food uh, right. the color red stop. <laughs> stop stop serving food so it's like a traffic light <laughs> yeah. the color green means yes. more more all yes. right <gasps> i need to try that hmm, that's a good idea all right um, uh, there there is very, very hungry, but uh, enjoy it. <laughs> okay, you have to be really hungry. Don't eat for three days and then you go to the buffet. <laughs> That's a good idea, yes. All right, I love the Santa Cruz restaurant. It has a spectacular view. That's true. I've been to Santa Cruz. That is on the on the Ruta Panoramica and it has a, a wonderful view of the Ilopango Lake, right? Yes, nice. Okay. Yes. 
I love it. There are many restaurants on that on that place now. Many restaurants. All right. Vamos a tratar de descifrar la primera question. Well, it's not a question, pero it's como un command. Express the serve uh, what services and characteristics make restaurants more appealing to customers. ¿Qué hace que un restaurante, qué característica debe de un restaurant para que sea como más atractivo a los customers? Uh -huh. The view, ya lo mencionaron. The food. What else? The service. The service. The service. Uh -huh. Do the environment. The environment, right? The mood. Yes. Uh -huh. The decoration, the theme. The cleaning. The cleanliness, exactly. Because a restaurant can be beautiful, but if you go and they give you a table that is not clean, you go like, uh, I better go somewhere else. Yes. Uh huh. What else? Cooking. The cooking. Exactly. It's very, for me, it's very important clean uh, the toilet. No. Uh, the restroom. The restroom. Is exactly, very because you only go to wash your hands, but if you wash your hand in a smelly place, in a nasty it place. smell very. I know. <laughs> it's, it's not good for the stomach. And exactly, and then you're not hungry anymore. It's true. The cleanliness is very important. Yes. The parking. The parking is true. There are some places that are so overcrowded that you don't find a spot to park and then you have to go to another place. That's true. What else? Uh, I, I believe that another important thing is the customer service. Customer service, exactly. If the people who work there, the employees, the workers are nice, kind, and they really work fast because sometimes the service is very slow, right? And you order the food and then you wait for other 30 minutes. And that's a long wait. So really, the food is really good. But if you have to wait for so long, then you're not happy with the restaurant, right? Okay, so more comments says I would like to go to a new seafood restaurant. Do you know the Bubba's restaurant? Oh, no, I don't know about that, Adriana. Can you tell us more? Price. The prices, okay. The quality, right? The quality of the food as well. The amount, because now that um, Carlos mentions about the buffet, yes, buffet sometimes are really good because you pay, uh, let's say, a uh, la maybe not that high price but not very low price but you receive a lot of food so that also makes a characteristic that makes a restaurant more appealing to customers right so this of course you have some other question what's your favorite restaurant what makes this restaurant a special place and what is more popular in your city takeout or delivery service how many questions? Solo en ese pedacito. ¿Cuántas questions identifican ya? Uh -huh. Three questions. What is your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? And what is more popular? Takeout or delivery service? Are these questions clear? ¿Están claras esas preguntas? Yeah. Yes. What's the difference? Be sure. Yes, between takeout and delivery. Take out and free it in, in the place. When you go no. and you take the food. Usted la pasa a recoger. He can go. Uh -huh, like he can go. That's a takeout. To go. And the delivery. Mm -hmm. You order, you call, you use oh. an app, and they deliver the food to your house. Okay, okay, thank you. Of course, when you have the delivery, you don't have to invest in transportation, you don't have to move from your house or from your place, but you can see how they serve the food, how you handle the food. Porque cuando es el delivery, they just put the food in the cajón, in the box, and they go. 
<laughs> so you don't see, you don't take care of that, right? So that is the difference. And of course, eating at a restaurant would be the best way. But when we don't have time, when we are working, when we are busy, sometimes we have to call for food or we have to go and pick it up, right? So you have three questions, okay? To discuss with your partner. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to discuss in the same groups, all right? Ready? Let's go. Negra, callate. Diablo, mano. Vení, cae este animal, Alberto. Yo no sé por qué eres tanta huella. No sé cómo se va a estar despierto, que está aquí por la huella del luz. Ya me he mamado eso. No, no sé, tampoco. A mí hasta pena, me da pena, la gente que voy a estar sí. para mí a dormir. ¿Adivina qué? ¿Qué me tocaron los mismos estudiantes. ¿Ah? Me tocaron los mismos estudiantes que había tenido hace poco. No es que te pueden, que la chica rompa. Que la chica rompa. Hey, tell me. I need uh, can we... to share can a screen. We... Yeah, sure. If it is the manual, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, not disabled participant screen sharing. Really? Faltan dos años de pagar o faltan dos años de escribir? Dos años de pagar o dos. Wait, give me a second. Aquí dice la teacher ha dejado de, ha dejado inhabilitado el grupo para que Ay, no me. No me. Pero me voy a regresar a la main session, yo creo que de ahí lo debo activar. Okay. One okay. second. I, pre um, I prefer to take off, to take out, and after that, Okay. Okay. And you, Carlos? El uh, Faisa de Brasil. Faisa. Ah, yeah. Okay. And you? me, my favorite restaurant. Yeah. I think uh, Hacienda Real. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Va pudiente, va. Okay. 
Un gustito no, una vez al año, no es el año. ¿no? Sí, ¿no? Hola, teacher, ya la vi que está por ahí. You can share a screen now. What is your favorite, teacher? Uh, eh, el restaurant. I love a lot of food, but Mexican is my biggest weaknesses. Es mi mayor debilidad. Mexican food. I love Mexican, Mexican. food. Ah. Yes. Yeah. You are traveling, traveling uh, Mexico, your Mexican food? I, I wish I could travel to Mexico. I will be crazy about the food in Mexico. Eh, de, le, uh, ¿Cómo digo? Ya, ya comió, ya probó. Have you tried? <laughs> Have you tried? Have you tried the tacos? Eh, near, eh, el so redondel. Hermano, va a decir. No, redondel. <laughs> Round, round, más feo. Ah, yes. But long time ago. Eso sí tengo que decir que fue long, long time ago. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Long time ago, dije, when I was young. Yo qué culpa que tuviera compañeros como ustedes. I'm sorry. What is your favorite Mexican restaurant? I like La Calaca, but not all the dishes from La Calaca. I like just the nachos. And I have a favorite restaurant near here that is called Doña Rosy. It is ah, a, Doña Rosy. Ay, este really? It's really good. <laughs> the thing is really good, but it's full of people and there's no party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, the restaurant is grow, grow, grow. It's growing, yes. It's really mm -hmm. big now. And all the celebrations, people made a lot of celebrations. But they there. don't have parking. Exactly. That's the bad thing. It's That's on the street. Yes. Ah, ¿Dónde está? ¿Cómo se dice dónde está? Ay, a because you only go to <coughs> San Miguelito. High. Exactly. It's <laughs> in the Calle de la Luz del Mundo. Uh -huh. Ah, and por Mama Chus. Corner, exactly. The, uh, but Mama Chus. I don't choose it's nothing compared to Doña Rosy, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doña Rosy hasta va a ver ahí que van a bailar, va. A lot of, a lot of show. Yes, there's, a, and, the, and the decoration, that, that people Pero is hay, crazy. Hay un restaurante mexicano por ahí, teacher, hablando de la luz del mundo, que va hacia la, uh, en la calle alterna hacia el teatro de cámara. Mm -hmm. eh, no me acuerdo cómo se llama, buenísimo. Really? Ya le voy a averiguar y se lo voy a ver a que se llama. capaz que Doña Rosy, ¿eh? Y sabe, ¿eh? Y ni se ha fijado el nombre. Dice, do you like um, the restaurant uh, Cebollines? Oh, ah. yes, pero long time ago también, tengo que admitir. Y el, y el que cerraron, que era el que estaba near Metro Centro. Ah, Ajá, sí. ya, los no, demás, no, no. los demás sentí que no tenían de same quality. No, no. no. El tablazo de este el t-shirt, el tablazo. And the breakfast, the breakfast were really good. Sabes. <laughs> yes. My yes. favorite. And they, and, they, and they prepared the, the sauce, sorry, sorry, and they prepared the sauce in the molcajete in front of you. So that was ah, really okay. good. Mm -hmm. Ah, en los cebollines. Yes. Ah. Sí, ya ve, usted no fue por ese. Por ese <laughs> delicacy. El único, <laughs> el único que está es el que está por galerías, creo, ¿verdad? No. And the one in los próceres. Yep. Mm -hmm. ah. But that one is not good. Mm -hmm. Continue okay. the conversation because Adriana wanted to say something about Mexican food. Mm -hmm. My favorite Mexican food is los tacos hermanos. Really? En yes. where are they? <laughs> yo, vi, yo vi algo de publicity en social media, pero solo vi que estaban en Venecia. ¿Y dónde más? Uh, no, están en la Gran Vía. Gran Vía. Y en San Benito. Really? Yeah, yeah. Ya me suena que no me puedes de acuerdo para ir a comer tacos. Yes, sí. La güey ya está así, veo que le está, ya está emocionada, güey. En Venecia. ¿Verdad en que hay una en Venecia? Es cierto. Sí, la teacher queda cerca del Venecia. En Wendy, tú. Uh -huh. 
que también. No, Carlos, Carlos es close. Cortó ya todo acá, a don Carlos, no. No, Fermán va a tener que bajar. Yo creo que Carlos sí es close. <risa> sí. No, pero los, los tacos de, de, del Maferrer sí me, me gustan bastante. Really? Pero es que no, el dragón, no, Carlos, que no te dé pena. El dragón es que dice, ¿verdad, Carlos? Ah, no se conocen así, Carlos, que no te dé pena. Okay, yes. Hey, buddy. Uh, the last uh, week I saw Indian food in, in a multiplaza. I don't know if it's cheaper or is expensive, but uh, the smell is very, very good. I I want to, to taste this uh, Indian food. Indian, Indian food. Indian food. But, but uh -huh, I, 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 como diría, I have the curiosity, <clears throat> your curiosity. <laughs> uh, tengo curiosidad for, for, for test the Indian food. It's but cool. But I don't know. I it's good. Yeah. It's, it's expensive. A lot no. Of, a, a, no, a lot of curry. A lot of curry, but curry. Uh -huh, curry. Uh -huh, curry. Uh -huh. No, yeah. curry. El, el, el curry. Especie. Curry. Curry. Uh -huh. What is your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite starter? No creo que me pase. Esa no es la pregunta. Bueno, oh, sí. favorite restaurant. What's your favorite restaurant? Irma, what's your favorite restaurant? Yo creo que, pero me que me salí de ahí. Your favorite restaurant is Pizza Hut. What, what is your favorite restaurant? What made this restaurant I special? Uh, I like to go to the restaurant. Um, uh, Bill, you know, the payment. <laughs> okay. Prices. Yes, the prices. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but the, but the, uh, I think the, the cleanliness, the cleanliness is, is, is very important. Very important, very important. Yes. Yes. In the um, flavorful, es, no sé si se dice, sabor de la comida. No. Yes, the flavor. Uh, yes. Yes. The flavor of the food. Ah, oh, the, the flavor, flavor of the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tasty, delicious, good. All right, after a long conversation, I saw you were really excited about food I, and I restaurant. <laughs> yeah, you didn't feel the time, I know. We have a hungry teacher. Are I'm you hungry? hungry now. <laughs> really? <laughs> Only for a speak <laughs> about food. I have hungry. That's a good idea, you know, you can I'm bring your Yes, you can bring your snacks or your drink for the 
for this class because it's about food. True. Oh my God. Let's have the second attendance. I forgot almost. Adriana, you're still here. Present. Amilcar. Carlos. Present. Cesar. Cristina. Present teacher. Fatima. Present teacher. Herman. Present teacher. Hazel. <laughs> Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Isabel. Catherine. Lucy. Maya. Present. Present teacher. Right. Nuri. Nuri? Present teacher. It's okay if we call you Nuri. Okay, okay. Uh, right. Present. Okay, Roberto Carlos, Samuel Antonio. Present. Litelia. Present. Walter. Walter Federico. Present here. Hi, Wendy. I am here. Irma. Nice. Present. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Vamos a elegir ini mini my ni mo, cacha chicken by the toe. Adriana. She's gonna tell us. Vamos a hacer un resumen de las questions que acaban de discutir. Su favorite restaurant, que lo hace ser su favorite restaurant. ¿Y qué más era lo que tenían que decir? And uh, what is the most popular? When it's more, more popular, yes, in your city, take out or delivers. Okay, I don't know, sort of resume the top. Okay. Um, Start by your favorite restaurant. My favorite restaurant is Los Tacos Hermanos. Why? And, <laughs> Why is it your favorite restaurant? Mm, because I love Mexican food. And Ferman loves mm, Hacienda Real. <laughs> because? Very fancy. Because he's fancy, all right. <laughs> and so fancy. <laughs> Carlos. Mm. Tacos in front. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to say. ¿A qué lo quiere decir? No se aguanta. I wonder why. When is favorites? Place is China Walk. China Walk. So she loves Chinese food. Even though China Walk is Chinese food, but American style. Yes, it has the taste more American than Chinese. All right. So what we, do you think? Yes? We agree. And um, the most important thing is the food. Mm -hmm. And the attention. Yes. And people in El Salvador prefer more takeout or delivery? Delivery. Yes, definitely, right? The traffic, the gasoline that you're going to spend. And if you go to the restaurant, you better eat in the restaurant, not just to pick up the food, right? Yes, but Carlos say that not is the same portion, uh, portion. Portions, yes. yes. When you ask for delivery. Yes. Really, le mando más poquito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Sauce. In some in some places, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because in some places when there's the when it's delivery, they give you more. Uh-huh. There is a Chinese restaurant in near La Constitución, I guess, and the name is Wandong. And when you ask for delivery, the portions are bigger, I think. You can for ask example, me. Yes? 
eh, no es, por ejemplo, de Buffalo Wings, uh -huh. delivery, eh, el, the sauce. Ah, the sauce. The, the sauce, eh, food. Eh, little. Me, less. Ajá, less. Little. Little, little containers. Yes, okay. maybe, maybe it happens. It also happens, I think, in fried chicken. Porque le manda lo que ellos quieren. <laughs> in fried chicken, there's only little wings, too. And you're like, in my big portion, it's not coming. All right, nice. Uh, Let's wings, see. Wings, wings. Uh -huh. Colibri. <laughs> <laughs> hummingbird, <laughs> hummingbird wings. <laughs> All right, somebody else. Let's see. Oh, the dog is sleeping again. Uh huh. Can I stand up uh, one moment? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. All right, we're gonna listen to Fatima. Why not? Hello. Um, the LC and Vitalia favorite restaurant is a Chinese food. And LC prefer delivery service. And LC and Cesar eh, mm, ay, no sé, makes a eh, the, for RC and Cesar, the customer and, and prices is more important, is more, that makes important in restaurant, no <laughs> sé. Okay, so prices and services are more important than the restaurant. Yes. All right, nice. What about you? What's your favorite restaurant and why? Um, for me, is Italian restaurant. I like pasta and pizza. Wow, nice. That's good. All right, one last person, Walter. I saw Walter was having a big conversation. <laughs> Um, well, um, yes, we discussed with with our partners that we have different kinds of uh, favorite places to visit for it. Um, for example, uh, Samuel uh, told us that he prefer uh, take out. Uh, he don't prefer to deliver service. Uh, for example, uh, Mr. Hector Francisco told us that he wants or he prefer to uh, Chinese food is good for for him. And um, Isabel told us that the uh, his favorite food is Chinese food too. Uh, I don't know, but I believe that everybody likes uh, Chinese food because, <laughs> because it's um, cheaper than the others, maybe possible, or because is the, the portion I and and different kinds of places are huge, a huge portions, and I don't know, it's delicious. In my case, for example, I I told them that um, here in Samuel there are a lot of kind of restaurants, for example. I, I don't have a, a favorite or a, or I don't know a, some kind of special restaurant to visit. I like, for example, I explained that I visit to the uh, Tasty. There is Tate here in Samuel. Uh, they make a, a huge pupusas, very delicious. Uh, the bite rate is very good, and the customer service is good too. And there in in the local there are um, air conditioner, I don't know, and some kind of different um, commodities that we that we looking for at good at restaurants. 
And nice. So what's wow. the name of the place? Dusty. Okay, so it wow, they even have the name in English. Hey, yes. <laughs> Dusty in Spanish, Tate in English. Yes. And Samuel, Samuel told me that he preferred to visit here in El Barrilito. I don't know if you don't know there. I don't know much from San Miguel, but I believe you. <laughs> okay. I recommend it's a famous, you. I recommend you. It's All a right. famous beer house. Ah, really? Yes. And they, they sell the specialty as uh, seafood, uh, shells and conchas. Yes. And ah. Delicious. And a lot of a cocktails. Little, yeah. Uh, good yes. price. Uh, that's like a, a Tasty nice place. too. <laughs> yeah, really, really delicious. All right, nice. Well, yeah, I haven't been to Samuel many times. I've been for work just a couple of times, but we have just gone to El Teatro, Francisco David, I guess that's the name of the theater. So we have just gone there for events, and then they give us quesadillas with our oh. chatas. <laughs> <laughs> and then we come back to San Salvador. So I don't know much about the city, but I know, yeah. I know it. Oh, there used to be a, a partner. Don't you remember? What was his name that was constructing the bypass? Daniel. Daniel, true. Daniel. Yeah, he used to be a, a, a participant in his, in the working in the construction of the bypass in San Miguel. Yes, maybe you get to know him. All right. True, true, true. All right. Thank you for participating. I know it was a very engaging conversation, but we also have another conversation here. Luigi. Luigi is a very common name for Italian places. So Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Read the conversation and complete the statements below. Okay, Luigi Star says, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we can get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. And then Carla said, Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, 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 no. The secret it is, is in the sauce. Okay. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't have and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the, the new specialty of our house, of the house. So Luigi insists that the ingredients are the most important, right, to the, to the food. Okay, yes, as you may have heard, uh, Luigi is a very popular name for Italian. So he has a pizzeria, right? And of course, they are talking about what is necessary to have to attract more customers, right? So I'm going to read it again. And if you have problems, if you have any question, so you can add or you can ask. All right. So Luigi Starr says, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we can get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Difficult words? Identifiquen las palabras que se les pueden dificultar. Traten de decirlas, like in your own mind. En su mente. All the vocabulary is familiar? Todo le suena familiar? 
Yes? All right, perfect. Then we will have to make the new groups to practice the conversation. Is yes. higher. Higher is contract, contract. We have to hire a person to do the deliveries. Contract yeah. alguien que haga los, los deliveries. Las entregas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Algo más? Ya les había compartido la, la picture de la conversation, right? Mm -hmm. So try to practice. Yes, on WhatsApp group. Try to practice as much as possible. Yes. Try to practice with different intonations. Try to sound a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of uh, Italian, probably. Yeah, on this group, you will have new partners, hopefully. Let's see. Teacher, I'm yes. not in the in the WhatsApp chat. Oh, not yet. You can. You don't, you don't have the link. Yes. I will find. Uh -huh. Get the link and I will resend it. Don't worry. I'll see when you join. Ah, four. Three, I'm going three, to. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to share. Uh, Pero quiero ver si puedo compartir. Ah, okay. Ahorita quiero. Se puede ver. Yes. Yes. Okay. <coughs> si quieren, comiencen ustedes. <laughs> Primero <laughs> la dama. Okay. Los ladies. Italia. Está la teacher. Ya la vamos a preguntar. <laughs> teacher, how do you say inyectar? Like give a shot. Inject. Inject. La, la acción de inyectar. Mm -hmm. Yes, can be, but Inject, also... inyectar, in, to infundir. Uh -huh, but you can also say give a shot cuando te dan una inyección. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, yo quiero decir, I need a uh, give a shot mm -hmm. uh, uh, to my wife. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. She is good. She's feeling uh, good. It's flu. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, it's not. More, more beautiful decoration that this place. Uh, we have, we have, we, we need also. more. What? We also. We also need more room for more table. And we have to. We also need more room for more tables and we have to, to hire a person to make deliveries. No, it's decorate is in the cell. Uh, it's not the cheese, cheese, como se dice cheese? Cheese. It's cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer and and we don't the say take our orders so let's start with that with that yes carla you are a genius then we will add more cheese and more soup. that will be the new special of the house okay hmm. César y Adriana, digo yo, no sé. Ok, eh, Irma, oh, ¿quién, ¿quién es? Perdón, Adriana, ¿verdad? 
Hola Adriana. Hola. ¿Inicia usted con Luigi o, o inicio yo? Si gusta, yo soy Carla. Ok. Ok, ahorita. Dice Luigi. Luigi. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think a restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than the pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a personal to make deliveries. No, no, the secret, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese and sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers, and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be to new especially of the house. We have more beautiful, more beautiful. decoration than um, this place. place. Okay, it's fast, it's easy. I will be in your car. Yes. What did you say? I will be in your car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more rooms for more tables and we have to hire a person to make the deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers, and we don't receive takeout order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where do you live, Fatim? What? Where do you live? In Santa Tecla. Ah, you live in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay. And you? In San Miguel. Uh, <laughs> I live in San Miguel. Eh, según Google. Según uh -huh. Google. Según Google specialty. <laughs> specialty. Ok. Ahora con. Bueno, um, quiero ver cómo vamos en la ronda ahí. Eh? Sería uno. Sería uno. Entonces, uno, no. uno. Ajá, uno, no. uno. Hoy, ¿quién, ¿quién va? Ustedes dos otra vez, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, ajá, así como empezamos. Ok, ahora solo que va al revés. Eh, ok, uh -huh. yo, Luigi, okay. hay Carla. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. We hit, hit, We hit more customers. By cheese is better than pepperoni. Carla. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is better than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than, than this place. We all need more room for more tables. And we have to hear a person to make deliveries. Luigi, Carlos. <ríe> Ahora le toca a usted, Luigi. Yo soy yo, Luigi, ¿verdad? Sí. <ríe> Maybe. 
No, eh, en la que sigue abajo. No, no. No, no. Ya me perdí. Ah, ah oh, ya, yeah, okay. que... ah, los tres. Ok, yo tampoco había comprendido. Ajá, ok. Ah, ok. Ajá. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. Uh, I am Carla. It's okay. not the cheese. Our sauce, Luigi. We have to offer, offer table reservation for regular customer and we don't receive pay take out orders to left start wide. Hey, I have more beauty, beautiful decor, decor, decoration and then this please we are also new more. Okay, they have the restaurant next door we finish teacher all right no problems no questions and also discuss the answer to the question. All right, perfect. Teacher. Tell me. The, the, ¿Cómo sería? No es verb. Es de, this one. Um, aquí donde eh, the, it's more big, bigger. Bigger. It's bigger than. Es un comparativo de big. Big, bigger. Big. The biggest. Ah, entonces para contestar yo quiero decir que es mejor, no es más grande. Es better. Bigger. Si es más grande es bigger. Si es mejor ajá. es better. Si es, es better. Más, ajá. Si es más. Uh, ¿Qué? Por decir algo más popular sería more popular. Ya vamos a ver las reglas de los comparativos. Don't worry. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bigger than this place. This place. Hello, hello. ¿Qué tal les fue? How did it go? Ah, me tocó hacerle de <laughs> Carla. Carla. <laughs> really? All right. Bye. Vamos a ver. Anodates. Por acá tenemos. Bye. Better than. <laughs> Bigger than, more beautiful than. Aquí está como la, la estructura que queremos introducir en esta conversation como un nuevo tema. Creo que ya alguien había hecho la pregunta, así que no sé si se percataron. Bayer. En cuanto al vocabulary, en cuanto al contexto de la conversation, ¿se entendió? Clear? Yes. Yes. Que, yes. Luigi, que Luigi insiste que son los ingredients, lo que tienen que mejorar, ¿verdad? Que hay que echarle más, pepperoni, que hay que mejorar la sauce. Pero, ¿qué le dice Carla? Um, the decoration. They need to improve the decoration. They need to hire somebody for the delivery. They need to work on the service, right? They need to have a bigger small. space uh -huh, because the restaurant is small. Yeah. Para esto estamos utilizando algunos adjectives. Los adjectives que son las palabras que, de, que utilizamos para describir las cosas. Como grande, pequeño, eh, bonito, 
amplio, right? So, esas son las palabras que se llaman adjectives. Son words que describen cosas, objetos, personas, lugares, right? In this case, the restaurant. Y estos adjectives tienen comparativos. También tienen superlativos, pero ahorita vamos a ver los comparativos. Pero, before that, vamos a escuchar un par de conversations antes de que nos vayamos a la parte gramatical, a la parte de vocabulary. Debemos escuchar a Ferman en Héctor. Who's Luigi and who's Carla? Whoever. I am Luigi. Ok. Carla. Obviously. Sorry, Héctor. The nice dude. Ay, Carla. With a sexy voice. Ok. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Yui, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more rooms for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sausage. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. The, then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new especially of the house. Yes. That will be the new specialty of the house. And he's really convinced, right? <laughs> okay. So, Nui and Vitelia. Okay. Okay. I am Luigi. Okay. <laughs> Start. <laughs> okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant needs to do is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We all need more room for more tables, and we have to hear a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. Is now the cheese or sauce, Luigi? We have to offer table. Reservation for regular customer, and we don't receive takeout order to left a start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Yay! <laughs> All right. No questions. ¿Alguien tiene alguna question? No. Sure. Are you sure? Todo está bien. Everything good. Teacher. Yes. Eh, in the structure. Uh -huh. Better than. Eh, always before. Eh, better, eh, better to be. It's comparative. Generalmente. Uh -huh. is, pero, is, ajá, no. pero, pero no necesariamente. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. Por ejemplo, okay. podría ser como con has también. Por ejemplo, de, decimos, this restaurant has better service than the other. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. No necesariamente. Aquí, por, Digamos porque está diciendo, es mejor que esto, es más grande que esto, sí, por eso tiene el, el word to be, pero no necesario. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thanks. 
All right, no problem. Uh -huh. Any other question? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Seguros? Sure. Bye. Vale, acabo de tachar, de manchar, de <ríe> structure, <ríe> es el comparative. Ya mencionábamos que los adjetivos son palabras que nos sirven para describir cosas, lugares, personas, right? So, adjectives are words that describe nouns, right? Example of adjectives, big, short, beautiful, nice, important, popular, todas esas palabras son adjectives. Y en los adjectives pueden tener comparatives. ¿Cuándo usamos un comparative? Cuando comparamos dos cosas. ¿Yes? Por ejemplo, si usted dice El Salvador en Costa Rica. Estoy comparando dos países. El Salvador es small, pero es más pequeño que Costa Rica. Costa Rica es small too. So El Salvador es... It's smaller, smaller. It's smaller than Costa Rica. El than en este caso no sirve, es más pequeño que al otro, right? Vamos a ver las reglas. Don't worry. We're going to see the rules. Bye. Solo quería hacer como énfasis en esto. Pero, let's continue. Bye. Aquí tenían algunas questions. Decía, discuss the answers to the questions below. Cheese is. ¿Qué le habían puesto ahí? Según Luigi. Better. Better. Better than. Better than. Ajá. Ok. Cheese is better than pepperoni. Esa es una opinión. Y es válida, ¿ok? Obviamente lo que él está comparando es el cheese con el The brownie, right? So cheese is better than the brownie. El better es el comparativo de qué? Vamos a ver quién sabe. ¿De qué adjetivo? Best. Por ahí vamos. Uh -huh. Mejor, sí. Esa es la... Adjetivo. Esa es la traducción. Pero, ajá, ¿cuál sería el, el adjetivo original? El adjetivo best. es... Ajá, best. The best es como lo más, lo superior. Ok. Uh -huh. Decía que el superlativo es... Ok. Tenemos el adjetivo good. Better and the best. Pero ahorita no vamos a estudiar los superlativos. Entonces, hay unos adjectives que no solamente se les agrega ER, sino que son completamente diferentes de la palabra. ¿Cómo? Pero son bien poquitos, solo son dos o tres. ¿Ok? Solo es good, bad, and far. So, good, el comparative no va a ser gooder, sino que va a ser better. Y el comparative de bad no va a ser badder, sino que va a ser worse. Yes. Entonces, es, y el comparativo de far va a ser farther. Son los únicos tres adjetivos que son irregulares. A los demás siempre se le va a agregar ER. Like long, longer. Short, shorter. Big, bigger. Ya vamos a ver también en detalle las reglas. Don't worry. Ok. The restaurant next door is. It's bigger than. Es bigger. Si se fijan, big es así. Pero como es una sola sílaba, una, una palabra de tres letras de una sola sílaba, duplicamos la última G y agregamos ER. Bigger than. Es bigger than our pizzería. Yes? So that's how we're going to do it. Yes? Our, the restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzería. They have... More decoration. Beautiful. More beautiful. 
Bye. Wait a second. Okay, they have more beautiful. Aquí, ¿por qué no le puse nada más e er a beautiful? Sino que agregué la palabra more. It's more longer. Because mm. it has more it's syllables. More, it's, it's exactly. Longer. It's a longer word. It has more syllable. Beautiful. So it has three syllables. Si la palabra tiene three syllables, no me complico. Y tal cual, lo diría en español, le agrego la palabra more. Es yes. más bonito. Yes. So, ¿cuándo me va a afectar la regla? Solo cuando tenga una palabra corta de menos de dos sílabas. Generalmente, los adjectives tienen una sola sílaba. Short, big, long, right? So, a menos que sea una palabra más larga de más de three syllables, más de dos sílabas, con tal que tenga más de dos sílabas, pero que no termine igual, voy a agregar more. More popular, more beautiful, more elegant, yes? Okay, so they have more beautiful decoration yes, than, siempre voy a agregar el than, than this place, right? Mm -hmm. Ya vamos a ir desglosando un poquito más las reglas, don't worry. Okay, hicieron el exercise for match the restaurants industry words with their meanings. A specialty, buffet, book, a table, take out, delivery. ¿No lograron descifrar aún? No sí. yet. So, so. Ok. Bye. Sí tenemos alguna idea, ¿verdad? Bye, sí. Por ejemplo, si te dice buffet, vamos a ver cuál es la definición de buffet. Bla, 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 bla. Different dishes places in a public area where people service themselves. Exactly. A package meal that you can eat Away from the restaurant. Ajá, eso sería. Take out. Okay. Ajá, entonces vaya. Háganlo ahorita, resolvámoslo en sus manos y luego lo, lo, lo comparamos. You have two minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. Done? Yep. All right. Yes. Okay. Number one is the last. A specialty, right? So, para no interferir con estos parentes, lo vamos a escribir justo acá. Okay, a specialty. Okay. ¿Cuál de todas las definiciones es a specialty? The last one, a dish, a dish, a dish that, that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. In a particular yes, restaurant. Yes, como es la especialidad de la casa, the specialty of the house, right? So it's a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. So aquí iría el number one. Lo voy a poner hasta acá para que no se confunda. Okay. All right, buffet. Ya no, alguien nos había dado la definición de buffet. Right? Yeah. Different, different place in a public area where people serve themselves. Exactly. Different dishes. Por ahí he escuchado que hay un buffet of breakfast at a hotel that you can pay like $15, I guess, and you can eat 
a lot of different food for breakfast. Ay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be bigger <laughs> for not saying the other adjective, okay? That would be the buffet. Book a table. In the Crown Plaza is this promotion. Uh -huh, they have this temptation. <laughs> the table teacher uh, to make a reservation at exactly. a restaurant. Exactly. Eso significa book a table. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Okay. Take out. A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Exactly, mm -hmm. the package, right? <laughs> so that would be the takeout food. The delivery. The first you can one. call a restaurant or order food and they take it to they your home. They take it to your home, right? So now the delivery also can be ordered on a on the website, right? Or on an app. Most of the restaurants are getting apps. So you can just order. Okay. Yes. Clear. Doubts, questions. Alguien no le quede algo claro? Yes. Ask, ask, ask. Ya lo podemos dar delete. Clear. Yes. Vaya, y lo iban resolviendo de una vez. Si no, esto se borra. Zoom no me deja guardar eso, a menos que vaya guardando screenshot. Ah, acá venimos a donde está la explanation. Y usted, ¿qué es esto? <ríe> How to use comparatives. Bye. Ya medio les había dicho que usamos comparatives para, obviamente, comparar entre dos cosas, dos lugares, dos of personas. Okay, so use the comparative form of adjectives to compare to people, to things, or animals. Deliver services better than take out. So, si usted tiene la opinión de que el delivery es mucho mejor, mucho más conveniente que el ir a comprar la comida y traerla. ¿verdad? Entonces, le dice, deliver services better than take out. But some other people's opinion can be, le puede dar cuenta. He says, no. Take out, it's better than delivery service, right? It will depend very much of your opinion. Okay. When the adjective has one or two syllables, make the comparative. ¿Cómo hacemos el comparative? Solamente agregando ER. Spotlight. Acá está. Vaya, cuando el adjetivo tiene solo una o dos syllables, we make the comparative by adding ER to the end of the adjective, then use then after the adjective. Y aquí tiene un example. The buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. Obviamente decimos. Ok, los dos restaurantes son baratos, pero uno es más barato que el otro. Right? So the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. The waiters, the waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Café. Y estamos comparando a los meseros del toast, del French toast y del Bon Café. ¿Cuáles de los meseros son más rápidos? Entonces decimos, the waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Café. Bah, eso es como lo más basic de los adjectives y los comparativos. Luego nos vamos a aquellos adjectives que tienen más de dos sílabas. Cuando decimos sílabas en las palabras en inglés, no necesariamente vamos a, contra, a, a contar como por consonante vocal, consonante vocal, como en español. Sino que como se escucha la palabra. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, si yo digo la palabra high, ustedes que la palabra high tiene one consonante, una vocal y dos consonantes más. Entonces, y allí qué onda? No, ahí hay una sola sílaba porque eso se lo escucha high. So usted dice, ah, oh, this building is higher than the other building, right? Uh -huh. So, 
lo de las sílabas cuenta más que todo cómo se escuche, no tanto cómo se escribe. Ok, when the adjectives have more than two syllables, usamos more before the adjective and then after it. For example, beautiful. Aquí literalmente hay tres sílabas. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Maybe no nos detenemos tanto a pensar cuántas sílabas tiene tal palabra, porque no es como que necesario. Pero en este caso, it is necessary, because we need to know, si solo le vamos a decir beautiful letter, que no es posible, solo lo estoy haciendo para que vean que it's necessary to add more. Expensive, three syllables, so we say more expensive. So, all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. La opinión de esa persona es que los old restaurants son más bonitos que los new restaurants. A specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Generalmente pasa eso, que la especialidad de la casa es mucho más cara que el resto de los, los platos en el menú. Va, eso es como la explanation. Don't worry. Aquí vamos a necesitar hacer un poquito de practice para internalizar esto. Ok. ¿Hay alguna duda? No. We're good. Bye. Aquí tenemos un pequeño exercise. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo que van a poner en comparativo? El que tienen en paréntesis. Primero, de, o sea, literalmente tienen que decirlo. Aquí ya les dan resuelto el primero y el adjetivo que tienen es convenient. Convenient. Por lógica, yo escucho three syllables. Entonces, ya sé que le voy a agregar more. Y no le voy a agregar nada a la palabra como, como tal. Entonces, digo, delivery is more convenient than take out. El siguiente adjective que tengo es... Ship. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y digo, their beverages are... Cheaper than, cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Right? Si quieren lo van resolviendo de una vez. Yo lo voy haciendo para que lo vayan viendo. Ok. So their beverages are cheaper than, voy a poner el dan acá para que nos parezca una sola palabra. Ok. So their beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Ah, otra cosa que me Okay, romantic. How many syllables do you listen? Three. Three, three. three syllables. Y aquí como ya por sentido común le dan tres espacios también. Oh. Entonces se dice, French restaurants oh. are more, more romantic. romantic. Exactly. So more romantic than. Aquí lo pongo junto, espero que no se vea. Así todo unido. Ah, perfecto. So, French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. Como. Uh, <laughs> um, ok. Complete. ¿Cuánto se la va a escuchar? Two. Complete. No, three. Three. Com three. More complete. Is complete or complete? No, complete. it's complete. Sí, escuchamos. Two syllables. There are two syllables. Yeah, you're right. Pero... Este adjetivo no termina en una Y como tal. Entonces también le voy a poner more. more Solo time. los que tienen dos sílabas pero que terminan en Y, se puede cambiar la Y por I y R. Por ejemplo, cuando dice pretty, y digo prettier. Yes? Va, en este caso definitivamente me queda more complete. So the buffet at Mingli Restaurant is... More complete than... Exactly, more... Complete them. Okay. So, the buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than Chang's. O sea, que el buffet del restaurante de Ming Lee es más completo que el, el buffet del restaurante de Chang's. Okay. Fast. Faster. Faster. Y aquí tenemos yes. three spaces. Pero aquí no tenemos, estamos los three spaces. Their service is faster. 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 Is faster, faster than. Yes. 
the restaurant we went to last week. The ambience at Jax's kitchen is more appealing. More appealing than the food they sell. Teacher, what's the meaning of appealing? Like attractive. Mm -hmm. More appealing than. Yes. Dan de food they sell. O sea que el ambiente es mucho más atractivo que la comida en sí. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, veamos. Clear. Clear as the water. Bye. Aquí, esta imagen igual yo se las puedo compartir. Es como para que vean. Una sílaba. Agregamos ER. Y hacemos el comparativo. Clean. Cleaner. Yes. Two syllables. Pero que termine en Y. Esta Y cambia I. Y agregamos ER. Busy. Busier. Two or more syllables that not end in Y. Simplemente agregamos more or less. Ser less es cuando comparamos para menos, pero generalmente comparamos para más. More attractive, less generous, right? Igual yo les voy a compartir esta screenshot, don't worry. Ok, questions. Vamos a seguir practicando con los comparatives. Yes, we have to. No es como que, ah, una clase lo vimos y no I got it, and I use it, right? So we have to make a lot of sentences. We have to make a lot of comparisons. Tenemos que hacer muchas comparaciones para que se nos vaya quedando. Y recuerden que el comparativo de good is better. Better. Y el comparativo de bad worse. 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 Say, oh, this food is worse than the last week, right? So, oh, this food is better than last week, right? So, and it's about the restaurant. Attendance, one more time. One more, one more last time, okay, Adriana? Present. All right, Carlos? Present. Yes, I? Elsie? Present, teacher. Fatima? Present, Fermin. teacher. Man? Present, teacher. Hazel? Present, teacher. Hector? Present. Isabel? Present. Catherine. Lucy. Present. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Roberto Carlos no estuvo. Samuel. Vitelia. Present. Walter. Present. Wendy. Irma. Yes. Present. Bueno. It's been a pleasure de encontrarnos. Nos quedamos un ratito, tres minutos con Adriana, nada más. <laughs> okay. All right. The rest. Good night. Enjoy. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 All right, Adriana, how are you? Fine, exciting. <laughs> and this is your first one-on-one -on -one session and we only have like two minutes. <laughs> it's all right. I'm excited to start a new course. And all this time you, you were just waiting. Yes. Oh my God, how many weeks? Like two or three weeks? Three weeks. Three I weeks. Think. It was three weeks. Yeah. <gasps> I thought it was less. I think three. Oh my god. It was a long time actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Faster. Okay.
How about this topic? Have you studied this topic before? Yes. All right. So you're you are already familiar with. Yes. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's see. Let's say some comparative. I'm going to give you the adjective, and you probably tell me a sentence. Okay. Okay. All right. The adjective is long. Mm. Long. Mm -hmm. um, the, the comparative of long is longer. Longer than. Uh -huh. yeah. <clears throat> but like. Mm. So use river? it in a sentence. Mm -hmm. River? <laughs> Yes, I, a river. The river uh -huh. mm -hmm. is longer. Uh, the Lempa River it's longer than um, than Rio Grande de San Miguel, for example. <laughs> oh, for example. Uh huh. That could be. Okay, another another adjective would be. Big. Big? Yes, big. Uh, okay. The car is big, is bigger than a motorcycle. That's right. A car is bigger than a motorcycle. All right, fast. Fast. The airplane is faster than the car. Yeah, airplanes are faster than cars. That's right. Okay, now let's see with two syllables. Happy. No. Oh. Happy. Hmm. Happy in a conversation. Mm -hmm. mm. Like you are happier than. <laughs> or oh, today I am happier than. I'm happier than. Than yesterday. Mm -hmm. You can say that. So oh, today I'm happier than yesterday. Right. Okay, so I see you have the idea. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing this material. Yes, for irregular, good, better, backwards, and far farther, right? And okay. with three or more syllables, we add more. Okay, so okay. it's been great. So I hope you enjoy and relax for tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Blessings. Bye. Bye.